All right, so this is tasting update number eight, and we are here in Bowen. We've just finished our second full day of tasting with our group of visitors. It's uh, It's been a pleasure to see people who know these wines very well come to know a little bit the people and the places from which they come. Uh, it's been fun for us, too, because it's a little more leisurely, less intense tasting, and a little more time getting out into the vines. Yeah, and it's also been really interesting. We've, we've been learning quite a bit more when we go visit winemakers you know they kind of go through their process but very briefly because we've heard it so many times but uh having to go through it slowly and you know the difference of harvest dates different methods of pruning different methods of extraction and winemaking it's a lot of variation between the producers that we work with and it's been it's been a nice education for us as well we began yesterday morning in chassagne Morche with the domaine thomas moray you really had a wonderful tasting. We tasted from barrel, from bottle, and the highlights were a 1985 Chassagne Morachet Blanc Premier Cru and a 1987 Bone Premier Cru. They were really remarkable. We then drove down to the Domaine des Vignes in Givry, and Gautier gave us a nice tour of his vines and talked about viticulture, and we tasted some of his wines from barrel and from bottle as well. This morning, we got up and drove up to Vaune Romanet to taste with the Domaine Michel Gros. Um, we tasted some of his village wines, some Premier Cru, had a wonderful tasting and a discussion of the terroir. And then he took us out into the Clos de Réa and talked about the winemaking and the family history. And it was really a, it was a lovely visit. And finally, down to the Côte Chalonnaise for a visit with the Maison Picamelo, where winemaker Philippe Chotard showed us the process of making sparkling wine, gave us a lovely tasting of some of his recent vintages, and some of which we'll be bringing in very soon. Uh, today has been a very burgundy day for weather. Uh, unexpectedly bright and sunny in the morning, walked down into some cellars, came out, and it was cloudy, and then it showered just as we got back into our bus. In the afternoon, some more spots of sun, and raining again. That's burgundy. Tomorrow, we are headed back up north to Morris Entity in the Côte de Nuit, uh, and we have lunch in Chambon-Musigny, and then our second tasting of the day in Merceau in the Côte de Bonne. So we'll be covering some ground and covering a wide range of wines as well. Indeed. That's it for tasting update number eight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.